right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Ezra Miller is now being accused of abuse. Right? So, I'm not going to be hypocritical here. We've, you know, I'm covering the Johnny Depp saga and things like that between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. I'm not going to sit here and say 100% this is unequivocal proof. Of course it's not. There is strong evidence to indicate that Ezra Miller has done these things, though. We have seen him choke out uh, a woman. He's been arrested in Hawaii and charged, might I add, uh, for disorderly conduct. Um, he was recently arrested because he uh, threw a chair at a woman and busted her skull open. So there's strong evidence of this individual not, not being the friendliest when it comes to women. So, yeah, I'm not going to say unequivocal, definitive, factual evidence. Of course not. But I will say we've seen enough to indicate that this is quite likely. Uh, and this just continues a, I guess, like a long list of things uh, which he will get off scot-free with, I'm sure. Because that's Warner Brothers happy to, you know, destroy one man's career, but not Ezra Miller's, weirdly. <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Uh, so days after getting arrested in Hawaii for alleged assault, again, that's twice now, uh, film actor Ezra Miller is being accused of being an abuser by their ex. So the viral TikTok creator Mia Solange, who uses they them pronouns, um, I've got to say that because I've, I've got to read this out and there's context behind this point here, um, because apparently Ezra Miller misgendered this individual, allegedly. Now, this individual posted a series of photos allegedly taken in 2019 of themselves and Ezra Miller. The photos, most of Solange and Miller spending time together, hinted at an intimate relationship. And the video uses uh, basically a, a song which says, you are in danger. Now, the reason why she would post these photos uh, is because, of course, that sets the stage for the fact that they absolutely knew one another. It makes sense why you do that. Now, in the caption, Solange added more context to the alleged relationship, uh, saying, You took everything from me. Ezra Miller is not a good human, and I can finally say so without being terrified. Hashtag abuser. Pretty strong uh, allegations, uh, accusations, and now that sits at 3 million views or above anyway. So it went completely viral. Now, while well, the viral TikTok was posted on April 23rd, this has been shared publicly before, actually, uh, on April 1st on Twitter by user Ren, uh, with the Twitter handle Lots of Gay Crimes, uh, who also uses they them pronouns, shared screenshots of Instagram messages between them and Solange. According to the screenshotted messages, Solange and said Miller, uh, Solange said Miller was off his effing rocker, and Solange also alleged in the messages that Miller once cursed out a person for trying to help fix Solange's flight and once misgendered them during intercourse. So we were having intercourse one time and he knows I use they them pronouns and still stroked my hair and said good girl, mind you, I am 19. Uh, in another message, Solange claimed that Miller hasn't really threatened them, but when they were physical, Miller would bite the shit out of them. Uh, apparently. So, yeah. Interesting. Um... Now, Ren uh, added photos of Solange and Miller in the Twitter thread, including a photo of Solange's alleged bruise, bruised leg. Uh, which, sure, interesting, I guess. But this isn't the first time Ren has spoken publicly about the actor, because uh, apparently there's an Instagram dedicated to exposing Ezra Miller's alleged harassment uh, against them and others. Uh, so this is an individual which is pretty hell-bent on it, which, sure, fine. Um, but they've been sharing screenshots and messages of alleged stalking behaviour as far back as 2017 when they used to run a Miller fan blog on Tumblr, uh, Prince Ezra Miller. When reached for comment, Ren told the Daily Dot that Miller has ruined their life uh, and made their life a living hell. Now, again, this is not a huge surprise, but it just goes to show the sort of depths that this individual will stoop to. So according to Ren, the celebrity allegedly exhibited stalking behaviours by copying their outfits and sending anonymous asks on Tumblr after they met in 2017. Ren said they attended a Sons of uh, an Illustrious Father concert, a band Miller is a part of, that is now known as uh, Odkin, 
uh, where they gave Miller drawings containing Ren's dead name, and this led Ren to believe Miller was able to connect the popular anonymous Tumblr blog to them. Shortly after, Ren claimed they began to receive suspicious asks on Tumblr and site visits from an IP address linking back to Warner Brothers Entertainment. Miller is the star of Warner Brothers, The Flash, which was set to release in 2023. So all this kind of stuff, this just goes to show, like, very, if true, odd behaviour. And bearing in mind, like, loads of people that are like, oh, this does, nah, he's fine. I mean, Ezra Miller did sit there and, like, rant about the KKK on his Instagram. It's really odd. Ren's Instagram account documented the traps that they laid out to prove that the actor has allegedly been following their every move. According to Ren, they decided to question Miller directly by emailing them in January 2018, after receiving no response for weeks, Ren uploaded their story on BuzzFeed uh, as a contributor. Immediately, the post was taken down. Uh, Ren said they received an email from Miller's bandmate, uh, Lila Larson, sent back an email to Ren asking her to stop giving us such a hard time. I get that you're hurting and things are hard, but we're really not your enemy, the email reads. I mean, this seems like a bit of a, an obsession from both sides, in fairness. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But the interesting uh, part about all of this is the abuse from an alleged ex. Uh, I think, personally, this other stuff is, you know, this is a fan account then saying that they, you know, would then be stalked by the, f the person that they were a fan of. You know, I don't want to get too much into that specifically because I don't know, that to me sounds more... Um, a bit tit for tat almost, um, but no, I, I don't want to sort of, my aim there is not to diminish it in any way, but that is a fan who would essentially do, you know, quite uh, obsessive things for someone that they're a fan of, then claiming that uh, that individual was then stalking them. It seems a little bit, I don't know, uh, interesting, no less. But this alleged ex abuse, mm. I mean, we have we have seen Ezra Miller do these things on video. Actually, direct physical altercations, physical assault. It's something we have actually seen. So, a bit difficult just to sort of shrug it off as something completely unfounded. But let me know what you guys think down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, those looking for news on movies and things. Unfortunately, we don't really have any at the moment. Uh, so loads of people are obviously questioning why uh, there isn't any of that stuff. I mean, I'm still covering everything I would normally cover, but it's just a quick FYI to let you know. There's nothing majorly dropping at the moment. Uh, I will be heading out to go and watch The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, uh, and I will be bringing you a review of that. And uh, Superman Alert reviews will continue as normal. But anyway, just a quick sort of PSA at the end here. Cheers, guys. Take care.